Hi, this is John with Smart Dots Robotic Solutions. And today in our how series, we're gonna go over the maintenance of the wheels. Now the wheels are a very important part of your robotic lawnmower, so we recommend you do a service at least once a year. That's part of our service package and we recommend to every one of our customers. Now this is the area of concern. See this plastic? It's got a little bit of damage because the rub is not being hitting contact before the plastic here, and it's wearing off. But since this isn't cracked, it's in good shape, we're gonna go ahead and just replace this wheel rubber right here. So we're gonna go ahead and start by removing these screws in these three holes right here to take this off. Now you wanna make sure you replace both wheels instead of just one because you don't wanna have an uneven wear and tear on them and keep everything the same. Now as you can see, this wheel rubber is uh, worn out. It's hard to get off. And the thickness between these is very evident. With this, you're gonna get a lot more traction on the ground. You're gonna keep that rubber from getting damaged. Now wheels that traverse concrete a lot are gonna wear more than wheels that are just on nice soft grass. So if you have a lot of transport paths that go over concrete or maybe gravel or rough types of terrain, you're gonna to wanna to check on your wheel rubbers more often. Now on the real wheels, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to look at is the tread. If the tread is all right, it's pretty high up, um, you're good to go. And internally, you're gonna to wanna to remove this and take the wheel off because we're checking for compaction of dirt inside this hollow wheel case. Now, if a lot of dirt gets in, internally set in this uh, wheel here, what it's gonna do is weigh down the wheel and cause a lot more resistance on the motor. This is gonna run down your battery faster, create a lesser life, and just put a little bit more strain on those motors. So we wanna go ahead and remove this and check on the inside and see what we're looking like. So what we're gonna do here is open this up, get a little screw. There's gonna be these three points of contact in here. We're gonna break them all. So as you can see, this one's not bad at all. We got a little bit of uh, hay here, some grass residue, but it's pretty clean. Now, if you're in a dusty, dirtier part, you might see a lot of buildup here. It'll probably be uh, stuck around the rim and everything. You're gonna wanna go ahead and wash that off or clean it off however you decide. Now when you're done, you wanna go ahead and put your wheels back on. Make sure you have your washer first. Go ahead and get a nice tight fit on there. And these bad boys are ready to go. Smart Dots finds that maintaining the wheels is one of the most integral parts of our service every year. And we really recommend this because replacing something like the rubbers on your wheels can keep you from spending uh, $80 on replacing each entire wheel. So for 10 bucks, you may save the life of a harder working part another year, two or three years. And uh, making sure you check these back wheels ensures that your motors have a long lasting life and they're not straining to push around wheels full of dirt or wheels that don't have a lot of tread and need a lot of effort to get traction. Continue following Smart Dots for more what, why, and how on robotic mowers.